Let's take a look at scales and chords. They're both essentially the same thing. So if you take a C scale, for example, it's all the white notes. It starts with this note here, which is to the left of the two black notes. And it could be any, any of them to the left of the two black notes. Because they're all C. This one up here is C as well. And all the white notes gives you C major. We're so conditioned to think about a scale as being all just equal steps, but it's not. Because in here, ones that don't have a black one in between them, those ones are a semitone, and all the other ones are a tone. So from C up, it goes upwards by an interval of tone, tone, semitone, tone, 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 semitone. And you can see that quite easily in your DAW. If you look at the spaces here, so the ones that are white, you skip the black one, skip the black one, and you go up by just one step. Skip, 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 one step. To make chords that are in key, so if you're in the key of C major, then all your chords will be made with all of the notes that are in C major. But you're just skipping, skipping a note and skipping another note. And that gives you a triad. And you can go right up to the top one. And that gives you... Do it so you can see it. That's a C major. And the two chord, which is built on the second note of the C, is a D minor. Because the distance between here and here is a minor third. And this is still a fifth, called a perfect fifth. So D minor. E minor, F major, G major, A minor, this one's called B diminished. And it's diminished because this interval here is not a perfect fifth. Perfect fifth would be here or here. So this is one step short of a perfect fifth. So it's diminished. And this here is a minor third. So it's a minor third and another minor third. Whereas a, a minor chord is a minor third followed by a major third. So just to recap that, you've got major, minor, minor, major, major, minor, diminished. And then you're back to the start, which is a C major again and it's that easy we can go a little bit further and we can add a seventh so then you've got one three five seven and just keeping it all within the scale so wherever you are in a c major scale they're all going to be the white notes so whichever chord you play you just skip one skip one skip one so you've got c major seven and then you've got d minor seven E minor 7, F major 7, this one's called G7, because that one is now two semitones down from the G. A G major 7 would look like this. So it's G7, sometimes called G dominant 7. And then there's A minor 7, and then there's B, B half diminished. And it's half diminished and not diminished at this point when you add the seven because a diminished chord would be stacked all minor thirds. So minor third, minor third, and this would be a minor third. But now we're looking at half diminished, otherwise called minor seven flat five. And then there's a C major seven again. Now let's talk inversions. If you take any of these chords, take a chord progression C, F, G. I have to do it so you can see it. And then back to C. Now that's, that's jumpy. It jumps all around the place. So you can take the F chord, for example, and you can swap that one for that one, an octave down. So you still have C, F, you still have F, A, C, 
but you've now got it like this F A C on the bottom and then likewise you can take the G chord G B D and you can switch that one down to there and then you've got a very simple that's what you got it's even cooler when you use the seventh chords and start inverting those so take a two five one which would be a jazzy progression d minor g c and then you've got d minor seven g7 c major seven so that g7 you could take the top two of those and you can bring them down to there they're also in the d minor chord so so you're just moving the top two fingers and then for the next chord you're just moving the bottom two fingers that's a really cool progression Yeah.